Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chum here and today we're gonna be playing some Duel Links. As you guys can see, it is the one year release anniversary, which is super, super hype. You guys can see on screen, we're gonna be able to grab ourselves a Sly for the Sky Dragon and I'll show you just how to do that. And then second of all, we're going to be able to partake in some sales, including a very, very special box that they've added to the game today. Now, uh, for Slifer, super, super easy stuff. You just need to defeat strings to obtain him. Uh, really, really simple stuff. We can do that right now. Uh, as for the sale, you guys see they have the new selection box, which has um, an SR or a UR in every single pack, and it includes old Super S and Ultra S. So you can get stuff that are really, really hard to get from all the boxes in this one box. So instead of investing in four different boxes, invest in the one and you get some of the best cards from those four boxes. So really, really awesome. If you're a beginner to this game, 100% empty this box straight away, or at least as many packs as you can, because you're going to need it uh, if you're behind. This is like the catch-up box. And there's also some other crazy sales. So three packs, one you are the best thing in the world. However, I believe this is only available from the seventh box. Yep, yeah, the seventh main box onwards. Uh, which is unfortunate, you can't get the really, really old stuff, but still, that's, I believe, five boxes. So, five bucks, five US dollars at least, uh, that's how I calculate it, because I always buy from Steam. And you can get yourself five UR, so definitely worth it. We might not tackle that in this video, because I haven't got five bucks on my Steam account, and I don't really want to load it up with money from my, my actual, like, bank account. Uh, but like I said, we're going to jump in and we'll check out the selection box. But first, what we'll do is we'll face strings. He's level 20. I'm sure we can beat him too easy, but we're going to use our ultimate wizard deck, which is basically a dark magician deck. It's one I've been trying out in PvP and trying to I kind of master it so we can bring some PvP duels to you guys. But this will kind of be a bit of a test run. Hopefully we can beat him. If he like somehow has like the cheesiest play, gets Sly for turn 2 and obliterates me, then I'll be sad. But I'm sure he won't be difficult. He should be very, very easy. We have a really good hand right now too. Um, so this should be this should be a cakewalk. That's it. He's not even going to say anything. I'm pretty sure he doesn't talk in the anime. It's only... Um, it's only old man who talks for him. So let's summon this guy. We'll set both their face downs. So we'll grab. I think we'll grab dark magic attack because it's probably better in case he has back row. In case he might not, but he, he might. Uh, and I'd rather get rid of the back row. Getting rid of a monster is not too important for me, which is kind of moronic. It should be pretty important. Slime. The Gemini, so it does nothing, so it's all, all good. Let's read it real quick. Uh, we can see it. Your opponent takes all battle damage you were taken from battle involving the card. It requires a double summon though, so that's inconvenient. Oh, see? The, the the dark magic attack was a good pick. Alright, so we're going to summon you. That was a terrible top deck, though. Like, a really terrible top deck. Because we're going to be able to search Dark Magician right now, so there's really no point in doing that. Or getting said top deck. Alright. We're going to see this animation. Uh, I won't bother, because just in case I pull my other thing. What's that, Mirror Wall? Cool. I'm going to blow his back row back. It's just one card, but I'd rather just get, get out of here. If he has like many to bug or something, I'm totally putting the bin. Nope, he gets to draw a card. Okay, so this is obviously um, his slifer for support. And that's it for our turn. Hopefully we can draw a monster next turn and call it a day. We might not be able to, but I have faith. I have all the faith. Alright. Give me a monster so I can actually attack over his defenses. Not what I wanted. He's going to stall me out and eventually summon Slifer. I'm probably going to skip some of this or at least speed it up. But yeah. This is me. Defeating strings. Let's get the army of Dark Magician on the field right now. Or we can just get this. Let's grab this. I want to get rid of his monster so I can attack directly. And boom. That's right. Poison Draw Fog doesn't get a draw when you can't when you don't get a show by battle. And there we go. We beat him, which means we're gonna get slapped with the Sky Dragon, which, in case you're curious, is my favorite of the god cards. I think it's a Absolute badass. Since ability is really good, it's not the best, but it's it's still really good. Uh, I think I think Slife is an amazing amazing card. Do we have some do we have some text? I'm not gonna read it. I guess I can. Slife with the Sky Dragon, the monster that gets attacked for each card in its hand and can attack on my turn. Oh yeah, true. I was like, what? The, how does it do that? All right, you know, we're not reading this. We did one line. We did one line. We're not reading the rest of it. We all know how this happens. Yugi forces him to draw until he, uh, until Old Mate loses and Yugi gets the God card. Now Kaiba's really happy. And apparently there's some Yubel teaser as well. I don't know. Receives off the Sky Dragon, blah, blah, blah. I summon an Egyptian god. I call forth Slifer, the Sky Dragon.
Okay, maybe I missed the UBL teaser, but we got Slifer, which is absolutely awesome. And now we're going to roll over into the selection box. Now, the, the way that they've done this is you can only open 15 packs without paying real money. And that kind of sucks, but at the same time, this box is a gift from heaven, so we can't complain. They are 200 gems a pack, because I believe they come with 12 cards. Uh, and I believe we should have just enough to open them. You can see 3,000 times, well, 15 times 200 should be 3,000. If I'm mistaken, then I'm crazy. But I think that's it. The main targets we want are either Sonic Bird, Sphere Karibo, Mirror Wall, Soul Exchange, any of these trap cards, I don't mind. Gozuki, and that's about it for, or, or Hamstrat. That's about it for the Super Rares, sorry, Ultra Rares. Super Rares, I only want the new stuff. If you guys check the cards I already own, I own three of everything that is good, apart from Spell Power Grass, which... I mean, it's not bad, but it's not something I'm going to use anytime soon. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's leave it on a card that we really, really want and call it call it a wish for good luck. Actually, this is one that I want, Double Cyclone. It's going to be a fun card. Without further ado, instead of wasting your time, let's jump into it. Although the animation only shows five cards being pulled from each pack, you can view all the cards you receive from the obtained card list. Okay, interesting. It'll only show five cards of the pack, but you do get more. Strange. I mean, I, I, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna pretend to be surprised. I know we're getting a super rare or an ultra rare. Uh, ooh, we got. Uh, what you call it? What's this gonna be? Definitely not something I wanted at all. I mean, the rest of it. I mean, no prismatic, so I don't really care. I have three of everything else in the box except for uh, the new super rares and all, and all the ultra rares. I think I have three of one of the ultra rares, and that's uh, Senju. If I pull a Senju, I'll be upset. We have we have a prismatic. That's kind of nice. It looks like a Prismatic Fire or a Dark Monster. I'll take a Prismatic of the new monster. It's uh, the Firestorm Monarch. If this card is Tribute Summon, discard one card. You're sorry, discard one card from your opponent's hand. Then, if this was a monster card, if it was a monster card, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the its original level. Not bad, and I think it was a one tribute. So I'll take that. The brand new card um, from the set. I'll definitely take it. Uh, also, one thing I should mention: even though you can't buy the full box without paying real money. They have said in the uh, in the notes about this pack that every single card in this pack that's new and currently exclusive to the pack will be available in future boxes and or uh, structure decks. So that's exciting. Wonder Balloons. Okay, so so far we have got one good card of three. That's pretty sad. If I only pull like Super S from here on out, I'm going to be very upset. Uh, I do intend to do the, uh, the sales. So like the one pack and five pack sales because it's only 10 bucks for six pack, which is... In my opinion, pretty good value. By order of the Emperor, so one of the new cards, when a monster effect is activated, that activates when a monster is summoned, you can negate the activation. Then the player whose effect that was negated draws a card. Okay, interesting. There's definitely a better version of that card in the game. It's like if a monster effect is activated, negate it, your opponent draws a card. That's it. I think that's how it works. It's like one of the one of the dark bribe like cards. I don't think it's exactly dark bribe. What do we get here? We got a. Is that a light monster? A different dimension master. Once per turn, you can discard one spell card to special summon one, one of your removed from play monsters. Pretty good. Pretty good. Almost no restriction. Just discard a spell card. So we're not doing too hot, but in terms of new cards, we're doing pretty well. I definitely want to get one of the double cyclone. Ooh, Karibo's winking at us. What are we going to get now? We have another, what looks like a light monster. Grand Master Sasuke. He's all right. He's a good card, but again, I already have three of him. If I don't pull one of the ultra rares that I want, I'm going to hate this box forever. I'll consider the selection box garbage because it sucks that there's a limit that you can buy. They should let you buy at least a whole box. I think it's pretty dumb because then it's pointless because you can just get things you don't need. Again, it's meant for new players and I'm not a new player, so I can't complain. What's a few? Oh, is this that? I think that's the only future monster in the deck. Yeah. Um, Galloping Gaia, the dragon champion. One guy, the fierce knight and one dragon type monster. That's pretty good because it doesn't need this specific uh, other dragon, the uh, the Curse of Dragonfire. What does it do? Becomes a guy of the Dragon Champion once on the field. If this card is special, you can add one Spiral Spear Trike from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Nice searching and it's a free card. When this card declares, uh, and a useful card, sorry. When this card declares an attack, opponent's monster, you can change the battle position of that monster. That's good. That's very good. Because that means you can always attack into defense position monsters and you'll never get hit, like, killed by Wall of Disruption or Mirror Wall. I don't want to play that guy now that I have one. That could be fun. I love Guy the Fierce Knight and his whole archetype. They're just not that good in Duel Links as of yet, so it is what it is. But now they might be good. Alright, let's see what we can get. 
Come on, Yugi. Give me, give me something good. We have a... What looks like a fire monster back there? What's it going to be? Another new card. It is the Firestorm Vassal. You can discard one card, special summon this card from your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn. All right. If this card is tribute, tributed for a tribute summon, you can look at your opponent's hand and banish one card from the hand until the end phase. You're going to use each effect of this guy once per turn. So he's all right. And then the big thing is that you can banish Sphere Karibo. Otherwise, any other card is not going to be useful. So, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, but, I mean, he could be fun. He could be fun with the uh, the Monarch dude we pulled before. All right. We have seven left. We're halfway through. We're more than halfway through. And we still haven't got one of the cards that I've been hoping for. But we've been getting a lot of new stuff. So, I can't complain about that. Then again, or is please be mirror wall, please be mirror wall, please be mirror wall. Yes, I'm happy. I only have one mirror wall now. I have two, um, and like I said, I've been meaning to open more new impact to get more mirror wall, but I just haven't gotten around to it because I've been always saving up and then spending all my gems on new sets. So I guess now's the time, and I'm glad we finally got two. I don't think I'll need three, but having two is great. Having two is excellent. All right. It's super interesting that they made it so that you can only see five cards. I guess because the screen space is limited. But yeah, I think it's super surprising. Ooh, hieroglyphics. And I mean, I don't know what we're going to get. I feel like when the, the screen really pops off, it's probably more likely to be an ultra rare. Dark World Dealings. Now, this is supposedly one of the very important cards for Dark World. So now that I have this and Dark World Lightning, maybe I can put a deck together. Because with one Dark World Lightning, I believe it's called, or whatever, whatever the lightning card is called, I don't think that's enough. But maybe with these two, we could be a lot closer to making it viable. We'll see how that goes. All right, what are we going to get next? We on the lot. We are on the last five. Looks like it's gonna be an SR. Looks like a fire monster. Sergeant Electro, one of the best monsters in the game that I do not need because I already have three. But I can understand why it's in the box. It needs to be in this box. It's like I said, one of the best monsters in the game. Especially since it synergizes super well with Ancient Gears, which is a very strong archetype in its own, and it has the best um, type specific trap card, Pulse Mines, that can work with it as well. In my opinion, uh, um, the best type of sp specific card is Pulse Mines because it, obviously, like I said, with machine. Okay, now I have five. Uh, with machines, you can put everything in defense mode, and anything that summons also stays in defense mode. It's like a, it's like a windstorm. We, if you have machines, I think it's great. I, personally, I think it's amazing. All right, let's do it. What are we gonna get? Another SR probably. We get a spell. Be a new spell. Shot of greed. Do not need it. Already have three. And now we're up to the last one. Oh, no. We have two. Never, never mind. I was I was thinking the number was going to drop um, after because I can see the number in the background, but it didn't drop. And it didn't drop this time either. I'm so bamboozled. You give me an Ultra Rare. Give me... I don't really need a Sonic Bird or a Sphere Baller. It's an Earth card. It's a... I don't like, I don't like the Psychic Argo type. I don't think they're good. I don't know why the game keeps... Forcing them on me. I've already gotten five with the cyborg so far. If I pull the cyborg, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Bam! What are we gonna get? We get another spell card. Come on! What 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 do I want from here? I can't even check it. That is exactly what I wanted. That is exactly what I wanted. Alright, so let's see. We got two of the new Ultra Rares, which is amazing. I would have loved Kunai with Chain, but worst things can happen. It's pretty much like an Econ. Uh, obviously, it can't be used in the same turn. Or it can't be used from the hand. But it's like an Econ that it can change the opponent's uh, battle position. And it can um, be activated in the damage step because it affects attack. So it's very, very, very useful. Um, you can even use it. You can chain it to Mirror World, which is kind of wild. And obviously, you can do one or both the effects. Give it that, give it a 500 attack or or not, you know, you can choose. As for these cards here, I didn't think they were necessary for me, didn't need them. I would have liked to get the Gozuki. That would have been fun, but at the same time, it would have pressured me to using zombies, and I really don't feel like it. I mean, they're good, but I just don't feel like it. And Double Cyclone would also have been a really great card for me to get, but we didn't, so it is what it is. Um, I don't believe I have enough money to do any of these things. I have like a, a bit over a dollar on Steam, um, but let's have some fun. And let's open up a pack from Generation Next. The three pack one UR. Because I think I have enough for that. I should. And I, I'm. this is the pack I'm most keen on. Because there's a bunch of URs in this set that I haven't got yet. Now let's just see. I would like to pull Horus. Because I haven't got one of him. But I have three of him. Let's, just, let's do this. I want to pull Horus. I wouldn't mind King of the Swamp. But I wouldn't mind Floodgate. I would love Floodgate. So let's see what we can get. I almost clicked on the get two packs. Which is not win one. 
Let's see. Uh, show me. Show me the love. I was expecting the Paxa shop when the game darkened. I was like, what's happening? And then I realized I have to actually pay for it. Let's see. Garbage. Oh. Not garbage. Not garbage. We pulled a, a second defusion. I'll take it. I probably won't use it, but I'll take it. That actually blew me away. All right. Give me Floodgate or Horus. What a day. What a day. Do you guys have any idea how much gems I just saved by opening this set? And this uh, this other one sale thing? -er? I was going to open this box for Floodgate alone. I was going to say, hey, you know what? It's fun to get King of the Swamp. But it's fun to get Horus, but I don't need them. I, but I want more than one Floodgate. I just got that provided to me. I no longer have to open my Neo Impact box for a second Mirror Wall. I might open it for a third. But if you guys can see, I'm, I'm halfway through the box. So I don't really want to spend another 50, uh, sorry, another 5,000 gems to open up and to potentially get Mirror Wall. It might even be like towards the end. I don't have faith in boxes anymore. But oh, it's been a good a good sale. And I'm probably going to um, partake in all the Sevens, Kings, Blade of Spirit, Galactic Origin, and Primal Burst uh, three-pack one URs as well, but I'll do that in my own time because uh, this video has been a lot longer than I intended it to be. I might cut some things down. We'll see how that goes. But regardless, it has been a great, a great little thing. And I really quickly, I just want to have a look at Slap of the Sky Dragon because that card is one of my favorites. Uh, but I guess what I might do is I might put the summoning animation for Slifer uh, on the video as well, because why not? If, if I did, you'll see it earlier on. There he is. Prismatic Slide for the Sky Dragon. I mean, they're all prismatic. Well, what a beautiful card. I honestly don't know how to run this guy. Like, I do know, but I don't know what I will do to make that a good deck. But hey, I'm excited. And I'll take that. In 15 of 60 packs, I pulled two of the new URs, one of them prismatic. And I have to say, this is my first prismatic since the Crowler event, so I, I'm happy with that. Anyway, guys. That is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. I hope you guys, uh, you know, like this epic pack opening. And realistically, guys, if you have not started playing Duel Links yet and you have any kind of interest, I really recommend you start. There are some great rewards going around right now. Uh, with this new box, you can easily catch up. I think when you open up, you'll start with even more gems. You might even start off with double what I have or even 10,000 gems. So I recommend you jump into it. You can catch up pretty easily. And if you have any interest in Yu-Gi-Oh!, I think we should play along because it's a so much fun. So many events happening. You never feel like it's a boring game. It'll be great. Anyway, guys, like I said, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a comment letting me know what you think was the best pull of this video. I'd love to see what you think. And until next time, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day.